What's up guys, Static here, and welcome to my Black Aperture Test World. Uh, I've been playing around with some of the f uh, features in Minecraft 1.2 recently, and I just wanted to show you guys a concept that I've been messing around with a bit, uh, and that you might find useful. And so the basic concept is short range wireless redstone. Um, so I've got this little uh, mock-up here to demonstrate. So basically your input would be on this side, and the goal is to send uh, a current across this gap here where uh, theoretically we can't place redstone um, and the signal will be carried across the gap and then continued on over here to open our door. It uses the uh, the new fire charges um, and so as you see the dispenser here fires off one of those fire charges which uh, hits this piston here which acts as a sensor for the bud switch, activates the bud switch and sends our signal along. Now you can also um, do this in a in a one wide space. So, say in, uh, shooting it into a one wide or yeah a, a wall with enough room inside for a one wide uh, bud switch. Um, so just like so, and you'll see with this particular bud switch design, which I'll just uh, hover around that a little bit, a little bit, give you guys a moment to check out that design. Um, with this bud switch design, you can send the current either up, so up through the wall, or off to the side, so around corners or into a room or something like that. And I was messing around with uh, one block wide bud switches, but it seems like all the designs that I can find or come up with have been... Um, uh, they don't work in 1.2, so I don't know if they've been patched or if it's because of this change to the redstone or what, but... So now if anyone can come up with a one block high bud switch, uh, you'd be able to hide the wiring for this in, say, the floor of a, a mob spawning pad or something like that. So this might be useful in a situation where, for example, uh, I've got this spawning pad here, and I want to put some half slabs in to turn off the spiders, but I don't want them to be up all the time. I want to be able to control when they're up and they're down. Uh, however, I do like having gaps all around this pad, um, so I don't want to connect it to the wall or anything, that way there's uh, more area for the mobs to fall off and into my collection channel, which obviously here is a, <laughs> a bottomless pit. Um, and sure, I could run the wiring through the ground underneath the pad, but if this is a multi-pad system, so I've got pads stacked on top of pads, that's not going to be possible because there's going to be no ground connected to this. So what you could do is have the... Uh, the dispenser in the wall here and the receptor for the bud switch in the side of the pad here so the signal would carry across the channel and then uh, activate the bud switch in here which would activate a T flip flop and push up the uh, the half slabs. So hopefully that makes sense why that would be useful. This would be also useful for transferring signal underwater um, which is always a bit of a pain with redstone since water washes most redstone components away. Um, and yeah, so this system does work underwater, as you see. The only problem is that the water does slow down the uh, the fire charge a little bit, and that gives it more time to be affected by the random uh, the random aiming. Um, and consequently, you get a higher chance that that fire charge is going to miss the the detector here, and you start getting misfires. As I mentioned, though, this is only short distance wireless redstone. Now, th theoretically, you could have as much of a gap as you wanted between the dispenser and the receptor piston here. However, as I've mentioned, the further that, the longer that the uh, fire charge has to travel, the more random its targeting becomes. Um, so, over greater distances, you have a much, much lower chance of actually hitting the receptor and successfully passing on the signal. So, with only two blocks of space like we've got here, the accuracy is about 100%. Um, I don't think I've ever had a miss from this close. From around about five blocks away, uh, the accuracy is about 80% if you don't have the water in front. The water seems to around about halve the accuracy. Uh, but if you start going much higher than five blocks of space between the dispenser and the receptor, you start getting a much higher rate of misfires to the point where misfires outnumber uh, correct fires. Now one consideration with this design is that you don't want to place a block uh, somewhere where it can catch on fire, so for example here or here, um, and then be detected by the piston. 
The reason being is that uh, when the fire charge first triggers the piston, it's going to light this block on fire, and so then when that block, uh, so when the fire disappears, the piston's going to update again, and the signal will be sent a second time. So if you're going to put any block here, you need to make sure it's a block that's not going to catch on fire. And uh, so far, the only blocks that I've really found that uh, fit this criteria are things like the uh, the fences, so the iron bars, the Presumably the wooden fence, although I haven't tried that yet. Let's give that one a quick try. No, the wooden fences do catch on fire. I'm pretty sure the glass panes will also fit this cr criteria. It helps if it triggers the system. So there you go. Uh, so glass panes or the metal bars here, or you could also put um, water here since water can't catch on fire. Or as I've got here, just have air. But make sure nothing in front of this block uh, or here can catch fire anywhere that it can be detected. So anyway guys, I uh, hope you found this interesting and useful. Just something that I've been playing around with that I thought you guys might like. And uh, I'll see you next time.